Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's beauty throwback, and it is also my foundation review. Um, this is going to be a first impression, so yeah, but anyway, I'm going to be trying the Wet n Wild Cover All Foundation and Pressed Powder. So, if you'd like to see if these are any good, if they're worth picking up um, wherever you see them, then please keep on watching. Like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also bookmark the page if you'd like to. I also do a live stream the first Sunday of the month at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you come and hang out and come chat with me. I really do love getting to know my viewers and subscribers. Okay, so just giving you a heads up, I did purchase these at Dollar Tree. They had a whole bunch of... Yeah, Wet n Wild makeup, and I've actually still seen this on their website from time to time and Amazon, but if you've been looking for this, check out Dollar Tree. But anyway, so this is the Cover All Cream Foundation and the Cover All Pressed Powder, and this has been around for years. I'm talking probably 10 to 15 years. That's how long this stuff has been around, but it's supposed to give you all day wear, medium to full coverage. It's supposed to be light weight and a satin finish. And yeah, I'm super excited to try this. I did pick this up in Fair, just because it looks pretty dark. Like, this was Fair, so. And then the powder is in Fair as well, Fair Light. So, let's do this. My skin is prepped. Um, I did not put on any primer, just because I just didn't. I wanted to see what this would look like, just by itself, so. But you do get one fluid ounce. Okay. It is sealed, which is nice, because I'll be honest, I did not check. Yep, it smells like old school foundation. Ooh, maybe this is going to be too light. I don't know. I'm going to just use my little puff. This is a brand new clean puff. just really want to see what this is going to look like, so sorry this might be too light. We'll see. Yeah, I think it is. It looks so much darker in the tube than in the, like, on the skin. Coverage is nice, though. I've heard people actually absolutely love this stuff or they hate it. Uh, the color might be okay. My skin is broke breaking out, so I'm like, you know what? Might as well just try a new foundation that might break you out some more. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to think what it smells like. It smells like another foundation I've tried. It kind of smells like um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like, I've tried that stuff. I didn't like it, so I ended up returning it. This was years ago, but it really does kind of remind me of that. Hey, I mean, yeah, coverage is, I would definitely say it's medium, uh, medium to full. I mean, you can definitely still see some hyperpigmentation. You can definitely see some acne scars and some acne that's still playing. But, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, this is the third time I'm going in. I'm not going to use as much for my forehead because usually I don't have as much stuff on my forehead to cover. I do have some zits above my eyebrows though, so I'm just gonna I'll have to see when I'm editing this, but I'm not seeing any flashback, but once again, I'm not looking through the flash if that makes sense. But I'm not wearing concealer today, so I really just want to see what this is going to look like, so. Blend it out easily. It's a, I'd say it's like a medium thickness. It's not super thick. It's not like the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, but it's not super um, liquidy either. It's definitely in between, so. It's not looking great, like in my pores. But this might be a foundation that you definitely need to use a primer with, and we're not. Just because I just really wanted to see what it would look like. But, yeah. I think it looks pretty good so far. Okay. 
I'm just gonna take a little bit. I just wanna try to spot conceal, so I'm just gonna try to build it up on just a few areas. Just wanna see if we can build it. Yeah, I'd say it's building a little bit. It's looking kind of cakey around my mouth, but that's okay. We'll might look better once we powder it. Okay, but I think we're pretty well blended. I think this is about as much coverage as we're gonna get. Just make sure it's blended down my neck a little. Might be a little too light, but it's okay. Um, it doesn't feel the most lightweight. It definitely feels like I'm wearing a full coverage foundation. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and set this. Um, so this is supposed to be all day wear, radiant, weightless finish. Has a Visibrite complex, reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. Sorry, my nose was itchy. I know it probably just took off. But let's go ahead and try the powder. And I'm gonna be just using a brand new clean brush, maybe. Okay, so it does come with a little sponge. We're not going to be using that. Oh, my nose is so itchy. I hope I'm not having a reaction to it. Okay. So. A lot of kick up, but that's okay. Oh, I definitely think the powder has uh, coverage. I like the powder, and I like the foundation too, but like first impressions wise, I, I like the powder a lot. Feels dry, like in a good way, like my skin feels powdered down. Yeah, so far, I'm liking the coverage. I think the coverage looks really nice. Definitely feels lighter weight now that it's powdered. Um, so, yeah, I think it is looking really, really nice. So what it's looking like up close, powdering it definitely did help with the pores as well. Still looking a little bit cakey around the mouth, but... Okay, so far so good, but um, I've got a lot of stuff to do today, so I will see you guys back here for a check-in and um, natural lighting. And I will also be showing you what it's looking like hours and hours and hours from now. But this is what we're looking like so far. I'm liking the Wet n Wild coverall foundation and the powder. So see you in a minute. Hello. I am so sorry. I totally forgot to do a check-in in natural lighting. Um, it is about 5.30 in the evening, so it's almost dark here. So I'm so, so sorry. I totally forgot. I was so busy. I was gonna film other videos, like I was gonna come in with like other makeup on and the day just totally got away from me. Anyway, enough complaining. Anyway, but, so this is how the Wet n Wild Cover All Foundation and Powder is looking after about eight hours. Um, I think it's still looking pretty nice. I definitely think the next time I wear this, cause I will definitely be wearing this again. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting a pore filling primer underneath this just because it definitely emphasizes my pores, but I also do have enlarged pores and stuff, but it still looks pretty matte, um, but it doesn't look like dry matte. I don't have any other makeup on besides my brows. That's it. So any kind of natural or any kind of sh like 
sheen, you see. That's just my natural oils coming through, and feels good, feels lightweight. It definitely is too light, but I mean, really, it looks darker in the tube, so that's why I did choose this one. So, if you do go to your Dollar Tree, if you do see this online, just don't go by what the actual tube looks like, um, because it does look darker than what it actually goes on as. I didn't experience any kind of, um, what is it called when it changes color? Sorry, like I said, it's, it's been a long day already. It didn't oxidize or anything like that on me. But yeah, I think it still looks really, really good. I'm really excited. I finally found this at a decent price because on, on Amazon and stuff, it's about 4 or $5, which isn't not a good price, but if I can find it for a dollar, then yeah, of course. But let me go ahead and see if there's any kind of transfer. So here are my fingers. Definitely tell, yeah. But to be fair, my nose is my most oily place. So yeah, not disappointed by that. So yeah, and even though it did transfer off, I don't see any like big swipes of foundation missing or anything. But yeah, it feels nice still. And I really, really like it. I was, I've heard that it's greasy, that it's thick, that it looks super cakey. Even the cakiness around my mouth did seem to go away. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. I think if you have extremely dry skin, you might not like this, but if you have dry, normal combo, a little oily, I think that the Coverall Foundation by Wet n Wild, oldie, but it's definitely a goodie. I do think that you would like this if you like a more heavy medium to fuller coverage foundation. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's little beauty throwback because this is a way beauty throwback. And, uh, you know, this month's little foundation review with the bonus powder. like the powder a lot, too. I like them together. I'm definitely going to find... I'm definitely going to try them individually. And uh, you'll definitely see this in a favorites and flops video for sure. But anyway, there we go. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments, did you ever tr use the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation and Powder? Let me know what you thought of it down below. And if I can find this for a decent price on Amazon, I will link it down below. It will be an affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't have to, but it's there if you want to. And yeah. Um, just so you know, I do have a Macari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have a, another YouTube channel where I upload five days a week, seven days a week. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I upload every single day on my food channel as well. And I also have a little Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and post the good, good deals that we find and stuff like that. So I'll have those linked down below as well. And of course, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all about your glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. You can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.